Hello there. Welcome back to the Chaps Guide. My name is Ash. I am your host on this channel in which we go on a journey into men's style, self-development and personal grooming. Now, the clock ticks for all men regardless of your wealth and station in life. And I had a birthday a couple of months ago, I was 51. And it dawned on me that I'm very much entering, you know, the, the second, maybe third act of my life performance. Because you only get so long, and it's the way that you age which determines how you're perceived by other people. You need to embrace the aging process, not try and pretend it's not happening. You know, if I ran around as if I was 35, I would look a fool. The fact is, I'm in my 50s, I dress as if I'm in my 50s, and I act as if I'm in my 50s, and that's appropriate and it's correct. It doesn't matter if you're in your 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, or 60s, you have to embrace those passing years with poise and with bearing and people will recognize it and respect you for it. So for me, I've identified that there are two ways in which we can embrace the passing years, the physical and the mental. I'm gonna talk about those today. Now my first tip for you is mental in nature and that is to stay active, to keep moving forward. Because, you know, just because you've retired doesn't mean to say it is a license to sit on the sofa, on your ass, watching daytime television. Believe me, you will soon lose the will to live, you'll put on weight, life won't be worth living. Just because you've stopped that full-time work doesn't mean to say you can't remain engaged. Use that life of experience that you've gathered to good effect. Get a part-time job, volunteer for a charity, give back to the civic society, the world which made it possible for you to retire at the age you're at now. So never ever think that retirement means stopping. When we look at successful people, people with great longevity in their life, they're people who have worked to a degree, not necessarily, you know, nose to the grindstone up until they're 80, but they stay engaged, stay active, stay busy. That's my advice. Now, my tip number two is physical in nature, and that is quite simply, win the skin. Because your skin will obviously be the first visible thing which shows signs of aging, the wrinkles and everything else. Okay, as we age, it happens, it's natural, it's nothing to be afraid about, but we can delay it, we can turn the clock, clock back to a degree. What you need to do as soon as you can, start a regime of skin care. Moisturize twice a day, I moisturize after I've shaved and at night after I've had a shower. Make sure the skin is hydrated, it feels fuller, it looks fresher and plumper, and it's gonna resist those wrinkles all that much longer. If you're uncertain of what to do, why not, I know it sounds unmanly, but book an appointment at your local spa, have a chat with one of the beauticians, and they can give you some solid advice on how to win the skin. Now my next tip is mental in nature, and that's always have a goal, all right? Always have a goal. It doesn't matter if you reach your goal, set yourself another goal in the future. Because if you've got something to strive for, you've got a purpose to get up and a reason to go forward into the world every day. Now it might be something small, something as simple as read a book a month, just to broaden your outlook on life and to improve your knowledge. It might be something active, like take a walk every day at lunchtime instead of sitting in the office, or start running. You know, I was in my late 40s when I started to run relatively seriously. Up to that point, I'd probably never run more than five or six miles. I started off doing a couch to 5K program on my phone, slowly built my competence and my confidence, which is all important, up in the running side of things. And just a few days after my 50th birthday, I ran my first half marathon in two hours. Uh, it was a goal I would never have thought which was achievable to me when I was 30, 35 or 40. I really didn't like running. It wasn't something I stretched myself to do. Yet I achieved a half marathon just after my 50th birthday in a half decent time. What's my goal now? Well, got to do a marathon. Okay, my next tip is physical. And it's one that most of us men, as we age, don't really want to hear. And that is, 
stay in control of the weight. Because one of the things that happens in our aging process, the metabolism slows down, we tend to do less physical manual labor perhaps than we did in our 30s and 40s, and we continue to eat as we did in our 30s and 40s, and the weight will start to pack on. Uh, and as we go older, you know, it's not a good idea to carry excessive weight because it can cause diabetes and other complications to life, which actually can shorten our lives and more importantly, perhaps, make the, the span of lives that we have less healthy, less enjoyable. My advice, do not live in denial. If you're finding that your trousers are getting too tight or you've moved up a size in trousers in the last couple of years and you're just putting it down to it's inevitable, well, it isn't actually. There are things that we can do about it. You can take advice. You can up your exercise. You can get involved with better nutrition. The more we stay in control of our bodies, our weight, the more enjoyment we will have in later life. So if you notice yourself starting to gain weight, take remedial action, and more importantly, take advice. Go and speak to your physician, have a chat about nutrition and what you can do to stay in shape for longer. So my next piece of advice for you is a difficult one to hear, and it is the management of stress. Because our middle years, you know, your 40s, 50s, and so on, tend to bring with them the most stress that a man is going to have, bearing down on those broad shoulders that you have. You're gonna have children who are growing older, they're gonna need things in life. They need to be educated, and perhaps you need to pay for them to go to college, university, or whatever. You're going to have aging parents who are going to need to be taken care of. Uh, you're going to have money worries, perhaps. You know, you've got a mortgage. You've got all sorts of financial burdens. You might have some relationship issues. You might be on your second, third or fourth marriage and all the issues that that brings. If you're working, you're going to have possibly more seniority because you've been in work for many, many years. That's more stress. That's more weight on those shoulders. And it all brings stress. And stress, stress can easily turn into mental ill health. And that's where it becomes a problem for men. But it doesn't have to be. It's not an issue these days to put your hand up and say, this isn't right, I'm not feeling great, I need some help. And that's the right thing to do. You know, if you feel under unbearable pressure, tell somebody, go and speak to your physician, friend, relative, a trusted person in, a, in your work or anybody you can talk to who you can share the burden with. And then there are simple things you can do, like starting to take exercise. It's a great way of managing stress. Uh, taking up hobbies, you know, doing all of the things which get you away from the problems that you feel when you're in your ordinary life. Lots of things can be done, but it is perfectly okay to say you're not okay. And that's where recovery starts. Don't live in denial. Don't think these issues are gonna go away. Address it. It's what the chap should do. Let's talk about a physical thing, our diet. Because many of the things that we've already talked about are directly affected by what we put into our body. Uh, things like salt, sugar, fat, they're gonna exasperate things like our ability to get a good night's sleep, to keep control of our weight, to help maintain our stress levels. Uh, eating poorly, which is very tempting when you're busy and you've got all those other things going on in your life, only exasperates the things that we've already talked about. So it's really important to stay on top of what you put in to the old machine. You know, you wouldn't put uh, diesel into a petrol car and expect it to perform well. The same goes for the best machine that you'll ever have, your human body. So, you know, I adopt a very simple process, eat clean to be lean, works for me, sounds very simplistic, but you know, I was a heftier man a few years ago until I took a grip of my diet in my early 40s, and now I feel much more in control of my body because I control what I put into it. So if you're concerned about your diet and how it's affecting your quality of life, seek advice. As I've said more than once, speak to your physician, do some reading on nutrition, find out what's the best for you, what's gonna be the best to help you perform to your very best. Now my next tip is a mental one, and it's a simple one, and it doesn't matter what your age is, make time for yourself. Because you'll come to a point, probably in your middle years, where you're senior in your job, 
You're going to have all those things we've talked about and you're never going to have more pressure upon your shoulders. So it's important that you've got into the habit of finding me time in your schedule. Because if you don't, believe me, trying to find 30 minutes will be like looking for the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. So make sure you schedule me time into your diary just to give yourself some mental time to relax and to do the things that, that you love, that you are passionate about. Even if it's only finding half an hour here and there to keep up with the Chaps Guide YouTube channel. Because, you know, if you click that red button and subscribe, we will be there to help you through your aging journey. Okay, so my next tip is a physical one. And it's kind of a retrospective one now because I can't do anything about it right now. But as I was on my journey through life, I wish I'd applied this. And that is, abuse your body at your peril. Because as a younger fellow, I enjoyed all the wonders of the Western world. And if I'm being honest, I drank too much. I drank too often and it did affect me because you know I missed many days through hangovers. I had difficulty controlling my weight because I was drinking lots of empty calories. Um, I didn't sleep so good. There were many things now which I'm, I'm sorry that I didn't get a grip of my alcohol ingestion earlier. I more or less stopped drinking in my early 40s and my life took an upward turn ever since that. Now I do have an occasional glass of wine, but I would have continued on that journey and it wouldn't have ended well. So my advice is just look at the things that you should be taking in moderation, be it alcohol, be it smoking, be it eating, whatever the, the things are, which you know are a little harmful for you, but you continue to do anyway because it makes you feel good. Well, abuse your body at your peril because you do have to pay the piper at some point. And the sooner you get a grip of your vices, the easier that payment is going to be. Now, my next tip is a mental one, and it's quite simple. Deal with things. You know, don't let life overtake you when it comes to your health, right? Now, men are notoriously reticent at going to the doctor and talking about the issues which they feel are a little embarrassed about. It could be anything. It could be erection dysfunction. It could be something to do with your prostate. You know, you're going to the toilet more often than not. Uh, it doesn't feel right when you go to the toilet. There are lots of things which are little precursors, little signs that there could be something wrong. And if you just forget about it, you leave it, you hope it's going to go away. Well, when you do come to pay that piper on the health front, it may be too late or it may be more difficult than it would have been to deal with. So don't just push it to the back of your mind and expect that it's going to go away. Yes, broaching the issue may be a little bit embarrassing. You may have to go to the doctor. You may have to talk about something you don't feel comfortable about. You may have to have a finger inserted in your rectum to check that your prostrate is normal. But the alternative could be early death. So let's put embarrassment to one side for a long and happy life. And finally, this is a men's lifestyle channel and I have to say it, it's a physical thing, my last advice, and that is dress your age, all right? Because if you're 50, and you're still dressing like you're 25. You're wearing a tracksuit, you're wearing running shoes because it's comfortable. Yes, it is. Nobody's denying that. But you're 50, for God's sake, man. Dress like you're 50. You're gonna look better. You're gonna have more confidence. Your peers are gonna look at you and think that's a well put together guy. And all you have to do is put on a sports jacket. You know, I'm wearing just a, a simple tweed jacket today with a white shirt, a cravat, a pair of chinos, nice pair of shoes. It's equally as comfortable as that athleisure wear that you probably slouch around the house in, but you can go out anywhere, you can look sharp, and it'll make things change for you. Weaponize the way that you look to improve your life. You know, professionally, you will be looked upon as somebody who is, you know, trustworthy, who is able to carry things off as an ambassador for your organization because you look sharp and presentable. Uh, you know, many things will 
doors will fly open for you if you dress with style and poise and bearing. So take those athletic wear to one side and dress your age. You'll feel better for it, people will treat you better for it, and your life will unfold in front of you as a better place. Now even if you're a larger man and you think that dressing with style and confidence is beyond you, that's absolutely not the case. I'm going to refer you now to a YouTube channel run by a friend of mine called the Big Pretty Channel, and that's run by Tim Crow. He is a lifestyle guru for the larger man. Um, and you know he's got some great advice, some great tips, and some great things that can help you out if you want to live your life large and in charge. You'll find the link to that in the show notes below. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this discussion on aging well with style. Uh, if you have, Thumbs up, hit the red button, join us on our future journeys into men's style. Until we meet again, take care, look stylish, and I'll see you very soon. <laughs>